Welcome to Solution Hour with Pastor Sam Ogabi, a broadcast from Christ Mercy Gospel Church. Hallelujah. I want to welcome all our viewers tonight to Solution Hour, and I want to welcome you to this great year 2018. In our church, God revealed to me that this year is going to be the year of consolation. This is the welcome to the year of consolation. And I welcome all our viewers, wherever you are watching us all over the world, I welcome you to the year of consolation. This is the year the Lord has promised to comfort his people. When we say consolation, is like comfort, to, to be comforted. And this is what God has said. Many people have been oppressed. Many people have been depressed. There are a lot of things that happen to many people. It seems they are not even living. They just are existing. But God told me that this year, your expectation shall not be cut off. That is going to comfort his people. And that's why I am using this first message in the year 2018 to welcome you to the year of consolation where God has decided to comfort his people. And you shall be comforted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So don't watch this program alone. I want you to invite as many people. This is the first week in the year, you know, 2018. And I want this telecast, you know, is going to, I'm going to use it for this January 2018 because God have decided. I want you to be hearing this message, to hear it and hear it and hear it again because that this is the year of consolation. That God has decided to console his people. And when God was speaking to me, God took me to the book of Luke, which I am going to read for you so that you will understand what I am actually saying today. You know, because God has been so kind to us. He has taken us through that glorious year, 2017, and he has brought us to a year of consolation, the year of consolation, year 2018. In the book of Luke, chapter 2, I'm going to read for you verse 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. Can you see what I'm saying? There is a man called Simon. This man Simon was in Jerusalem. He was waiting, fasting, praying. And the Bible said the Holy Ghost was with him. He's a default man. He's a righteous man. Waiting for the consolation of Israel. Waiting for the time Israel will be favored. Waiting for the time Israel will be, will, will, Israel will be declared. You know, you know, Israel will be comforted. Waiting for the gathering of the children of God all over the world. Waiting for the upliftment of the people of God. This is what this man, this man was every day in the temple waiting for this consolation of Israel. And I want to tell you, I don't know how many of you are there watching me tonight that have been suppressed. And you are saying, when will, my, when will I be comforted? When will my life change? When will my situation change? You see, you know, you might be fasting and praying. The Bible says even this man, the Holy Ghost was upon him. He has everything it takes. And he has the power, the strength to wait for the consolation of Israel. But let me, let's go ahead. Verse 26. And it was revealed unto him 
by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he has seen the Lord Jesus Christ. My God. I want to tell you tonight, you will not die until you see your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am telling you, you are not going to die. You are going to see the glory of God. Your children will see the glory of God. Your husband will see the glory of God. Our nations and the world, the seven continent of the world, they are going to witness the glory of God in this year 2018 because it's the year of consolation that God is going to comfort his people and there's going to be greatness and the power of God will deal, will rule with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me go further. Verse 27. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then he took he, him up in the arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let thou thy servant departed in peace according to thy word. What am I saying? You know, one day this man, this man Simeon, go to the temple. And I tell you, if he saw Jesus brought to the temple, what a glorious day. He saw the consolation that the child that is going to give rise, you know, you know, to, to, that's going to give comfort, you know, the salvation, the savior of the world has been born. And I want to tell you, in this year 2018, you are going to see the glory of God. In this year 2018, you are going to see your business being taken a new shape. In this year 2018, we are going to witness revival that we never seen before in the Christendom. In this year 2018, we are going to witness the power of the Holy Ghost move like never before. In this year 2018, I am telling you, the old, the old flesh shall see the salvation of the Lord. That is what God is going to do. And that's why God has sent me to you tonight that I should comfort my people. You know, let me take you further. I want to show you something in the book of uh, Isaiah. In the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 1 say, Comfort ye my people, comfort my people, say to them, speak comfortable to Jerusalem, and cry to her that her warfare is accomplished, that the iniquity is pardoned, for she has received for the Lord's hand double for all her sins. What is the Bible saying? God says, as you speak to you, as you speak comfortably to you today, that this year that your sin is pardoned, you know, your sins has been removed. God has taken away your iniquity. I am telling you, once iniquity is taken away from a man, you see, the man will succeed in life. God told me to tell you that your sin has been pardoned, that your warfare is over. You have been fighting and fighting and fighting war. But this year is not the year to fight because the battle is over. Concerning your life, concerning your children, concerning your family, this is the year that the Lord has decided to console you and to comfort you. So that because he said the set time for Zion has come. That Zion is going to this is the set time the, that the, to favor Zion. This is your time of favor. The time God has decided to favor you and comfort you and make you happy in the land of the living. I want to tell you, this year you're going to rejoice. Because no matter what happens, God will cause you to rejoice. And you will rejoice greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm still going to take you, you know, something great has happened. You know, um, in the book of, I'm going to take you also to another place in the Bible. This same Isaiah chapter, chapter 12, verse 1. And in that day, thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. I will praise thee, thou hast been angry with me, thy anger is turned away, and thou hast comforted me. What am I saying? God, you know, you may be saying before that God has been angry with you, but I want to tell you tonight, God is taking away the, you know, God is now forgiving you. God is taking away his anger. You see, no wonder the Bible says, weeping may endure for the night, but joy come in the morning. I want to tell you, Year 2018 is your money. Your money has come. And now is your time to rejoice. 
Now is the consolation time for you. And you and your family are going to rejoice. This is the, I've talked to you. I, you know, I spoke to you last year about the promise of God that God never leaves. I want to tell you now that God is about to fulfill the promise he has said about your life. He's about to do the promise. God is going to fulfill his promise that he has said concerning your life. And therefore, I'm going to, now they're going to introduce some of our services. That's why I want you to join us, especially the, the, this Sunday, every Sunday in the month of January. Join us. I am telling you, 10 o'clock is our services every Sunday in the month of January. I want you to join us in our services. They will show you a clip of our services now. And I'm telling you, as they show you the clip, you will see great men and women, boys and girls, worshiping the Lord, serving God, you know, and enjoying and rejoicing in the presence of God. I want you to be a part in this January 2018 as, as the year God has said is going to comfort his people so that you'll be a part of the people of God. If you have never given your life to Jesus, come, you know, and God is going to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm going to say, now as we're going to show you the clip, join us in our services and the power of God will touch you. I'm going to pray for you because I'm going to give you time, one-on-one -on -one counseling. I'm going to counsel, you know, there's going to be time for you and God will be glorifying your life. And today, the crown will come upon your head. In the name of Jesus. I say your head will see for crown. So when it is Esther's turn, four things work for Esther. Number one, mercy work for Esther. Number two, grace work for Esther. Number three, favor work for Esther. And number four, the spirit of God. These four things work for Esther. And that's why you receive mercy and grace. And I want to tell you today, for your journey to be successful in life, you need the favor of God. For your journey to be successful in life, you need the spirit of God. You know, people look for money today. But I want to tell you, it's a taboo to look for money. Look for the spirit of God. What did I say? When you have the spirit of God, money will look for you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? When you have the spirit of God, money will look for you. What did Solomon have? It's not the spirit of God. Why are the king of Sheba, all the big people looking for, for Solomon? It is the spirit of God you need. But Satan has so deceived the world. And we are chasing the bear that we cannot catch. Do you know money is a bear? It has wind, it flies. So you are running after the bear. Can you catch the bear? That's why. That's how the money is. Look for the Spirit of God. And as you look for the Spirit of God, the Lord will be with you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Esther time. You obtain mercy, you obtain favor. And Esther never go back as a king. She now become the queen. Instead of what? You know what happened? God is removing the proud. Amen. He is removing the wicked. Amen. Look, let me tell you something. Something is about to happen in this world. People you never know before, God will begin to raise them up. Amen. You know why God is going to raise them up? Because they have been suppressed for long. But God is going to raise them up. God, the way God will wipe them or you will not be surprised. God is uprooting the wicked. It's all is uprooting the wicked. To do what? To plan the righteous. Therefore, make sure you serve God with all your heart and it shall be well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. The second person that appeared before the king is Joseph. Genesis chapter 41. I'm not going to do 41. You can just write it down. 14, 37 to 40. The day Joseph appeared before the king, do you know what, what Pharaoh said? He said, I hand over my whole house to you. The day he appeared, he became the prime minister. The post that was not even, there's no post of prime minister in Egypt. But the minute Joseph appeared, they created that post. From today, God will begin to create things for your life. God will begin to create position that you don't deserve. 
will be created for you and they will put you there in the name of Jesus. Say amen loud and clear. Say amen loud and clear. God! Joseph appeared. He came from dungeon. You know where he came from? From dungeon. But he never returned to what? To dungeon again. For the rest of what? For the rest of his life. I'm telling you from today. You are not returned to your poverty again. You are not returned to your sickness again. You are not returned to all your affliction again. In the name of Jesus. That's what happened to Joseph. Joseph become the prime minister the day he appeared before the king. And I congratulate you because today I want you to try hard to see God in this service. Amen. If you see Pastor Samuel, you may go home empty-handed. But if you can look through in the spirit and see God in this service, you will go a changed person in the name of Jesus. Number three is Daniel. The day Daniel appeared before the king, he take over the kingdom. He take over what? He take over the kingdom. That was Daniel chapter 6, verse 3. And Daniel chapter 5, verse 12 to 17. The day he appeared before the king, he take over the kingdom. Read for me, Daniel chapter 6, verse 3. This Daniel, this Daniel began distinguishing himself. Yes. Among the commissioners. Yes. And satraps. Yes. Because he possessed an extraordinary spirit. My God. Can you hear that? Daniel was given extraordinary what? Spirit. Ordinary spirit. What does that mean? The spirit of God. Mm -hmm. That is what you need. When you have the spirit of God, you will be distinguished. Lion! Is, a, is, is, is human being a friend to lion? But Daniel went to he went to the lion day. He could not be king. Because of what? If, he, if it is because of money, lion should have used him as what? As, as a food. But because he has the spirit of God, Satan cannot kill him. Anybody that has the spirit of God, Satan cannot kill the person. Possess the spirit today. Amen. Possess the spirit of God today. You need the spirit of God. That's why the Bible says it's not by power or by mind, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. It is the spirit of God. Why are people taking witchcraft spirit today? Spirit, oh my God, it's, it's so disastrous. People going, to, even minister of God, going to mommy water to get power. Which power from mommy water? Which power did mommy water have? Which power? Which power did occultic man have? Which power did occult have? We deceive ourselves so much. It is time to turn to God. Come and take the original spirit. Original what? Spirit. They call it excellent what? Extraordinary spirit. That's what you need. You don't need mommy water spirit. You don't need a spirit. You don't need a cortex power. You don't need all this, all this rubbish. It's only the spirit of God that have access to God. And that's why you need the spirit of God in your life. And today you will have it. I told you number one is Esther. Number two is Joseph. Number three is Daniel. And another person that appeared before the king is Mordecai. Everybody say Mordecai. Everybody say Mordecai. Esther chapter 8, verse 1 to 2. That day, which day is that? Today. Do you know what God did? God hand over the house of Ammon, the wicked, the wicked, the house of the wicked, the house of the wishes, the house of wizards, the house of the power in the power in the world. The people that call them power, their house was handed over to the righteous man. Yeah. Everything they kill human before to make, they kill people, they slander people, they destroy your name, or everything they do. The house to who? To the righteous. If you are righteous here today, get ready. I say get ready. Yeah. Say get ready. Yeah. Because the wonder the Bible says the riches of the Gentiles 
shall be transferred to who? To the righteous. You look, I have prepared my account ready. Because very soon you will hear that Pastor Samuel. Eh? He has gone. He's no more dear. He has been shifted because of the transfer of the power of God. Hallelujah. There's one of my friends that are supposed to be here today. We started prayer since February. We praying and praying and praying to God. We start the prayer. And I would love that my friend to be here today. But during the prayer, when we started, we prayed day and night. I, that's why I make up my mind for prayer. I don't do any work. It's prayer I'm doing. You're welcome back to the second part of the telecast. And like I tell you before, you've seen our services. You've seen great men and women of God rejoicing and dancing before the presence of God. Like I told you, when you join us in our services, I will give you one-to-one -one counseling. I need to talk to you, you know, and I want to tell you, I'm a counselor in training, you know, qualified counselor in training, you know, and I tell you, God is doing great and mighty things in our life. And I tell you, God is going to bless you this year because this is the year of consolation that God has said. And I believe what God said will surely come to pass because as God has said, you know, if you look at where I've been reading for you, you know, in that book of Luke, there's something that's so, so fascinating to me there. The Bible said that this man, Simon, and he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in Jesus Christ to do for him after the custom of the law, verse 28, then he took up, you know, in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen the salvation. Can you see that? My eyes have seen what? The salvation. That is what I have been waiting for for the rest of my life. Why I'm fasting and praying and fasting and praying and devote myself both day and night in the temple, which is the consolation of Israel. I've seen it. My eyes have seen the salvation. And I want to tell you, there is nothing that is important in this life for you to be saved. Your, the salvation of your soul is so important. And I pray that you also, you will accept Jesus Christ into your life and you will see the salvation of the Lord. And I'm telling you, this was a great thing that I learned here. The Bible says, he saw what he's waiting for. And I want to tell you in year 2018, everything that you have been waiting for, everything that you have been hoping for, everything that you have been desire. In your life, it could be material, it could be spiritual, it could be about your work, about your education, it could be about your marriage, whatever it is that you have been waiting for, I am telling you, your eyes will see it. You see, your eyes will see it. Not only see, you will carry it, you will embrace your miracle. You see, he carried, you know, he had, you know the parent hand over Jesus Christ to this man. Because that's what he's waiting for. I am telling you, you are going to embrace your miracle this year, 2018. Every miracle you are waiting for, in all, in all round breakthrough, is going to be yours. You're going to have peace because God is going to, see, he's going to, going to comfort you, comfort your family that, in fact, you will, you will, year 2018 will be a year to be reckoned with in your life because that is the year that everything will turn around for you because the year of consolation. Hallelujah. And when this man carried Jesus Christ, he said, now my eyes have seen the salvation of the Lord. I've seen everything I'm hoping and waiting for has come. That's why I told you before that God is able and abundantly able. No wonder the book of Serebabe said, he said, even though the vision tarry, wait for it because the vision will surely come. I am telling you, it is important for you to wait for what God has promised. Because definitely he will surely come. Look at this man. He waited for this promise. And this promise was fulfilled. He embraced the promises and he said, My eyes have seen the salvation of the Lord. And then he go further. Let me, let me tell you what he says. My eyes have seen the salvation which he has prepared for the face of all the people. A light to be lighting the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. 
What did the Bible say? God have, you know, has brought Jesus Christ to be a light to the whole world. And he said, you have seen it. And now, he said, now he can die. And I want to tell you, you will not die until you see your glory. You can die. The Lord is going to protect you. The Lord is going to keep you. The Lord is going to keep your family. The Lord is going to protect your children. Every one of you is going to be alive to see the glory of God. Not only see the glory of God, you know, do you know, understand? You know, even Joseph, when Joseph, you know, the, 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 the father of Joseph, you know, witnessed the greatness of Joseph. He was moved to Egypt to go and enjoy, you know, he enjoyed the goodness and the benefit of the glory of God and the greatness of Joseph. You know, the, the, the father saw it and I want to tell you, no matter what is going on around there, I want to tell you, this year of consolation, the Lord has decided to comfort you. He has taken away the anger. He has taken away your sin. Everything that will, he has been causing trouble in your life has been taken out of your life. Now you can see the glory of God. Jesus was born. This man, did Simon carry Jesus and embrace him. And he gave glory to God that now he can depart because he has seen the glory of God. And I want to tell you, you yourself will see the glory of God, you see. And all of us will see the glory of God in this year, 2018. All of us, the church is going to witness the glory of God. You see, all over the world, the whole world is going to witness the glory of God in this year, 2018. And that's why I am so excited. I'm so excited. That's why I want you to be a part of our services. I'm telling you, be a part of our services in this year, 2018. 10 o'clock is our services at St. Migrant House, 21 Old Ford Road. You see, uh, London, E29 Pier. And as I said, you can go to our website and donate, you know, for the expansion of the kingdom of God. And also you can join us on our prayer line. Every week we have prayer line. Join us, call us, we give you the details and the almighty God. Even when you come to our services, we explain to you. And you have one-on-one -on -one counseling and the Lord will be with you in the mighty name of Jesus. I welcome you again to this great year, the year of consolation. You are blessed and your family blessed forever. Join us for worship every Sunday for miracle service at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Prayer conference Monday and Wednesday on prayer lines. 0333-0888-999. Access on 384878. From 7 p.m. to 12 midnight. Monthly program Day of Mercy on first Sunday of every month from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. We are located at St. Margaret's House. 21 Old Ford Road, Bethnal Green, London, E2 9PL. Inquiries Line 020-898-18728-07807-005950.